okay because now we saw that blue green is not always suitable now when to use canary now before that if you understand the word canary it will be easy for you to know so in the olden days when they were kind of digging mines so i hope everyone understand what is a mine right a coal mine or a gold mine or a diamond mine okay now it goes very deep into the earth or into a location where you won't even have oxygen but not just oxygen there will be a lot of other gases which is not consumable by a human being right toxic ones which we don't know especially like if you dig at some place there might be some toxic gases now what will happen when the technology was not so great and it's not easy for us to know what is happening so now when people go inside and when they are there stuck hovers together and if they inhale then it's going to be harmful right that's when they started using a bird called as canary bird so it was just like a indication where that bird was very sensitive or the birds are very sensitive so if there is any kind of such toxic gases it indicately affects that canary bird with that anyone can know saying that hey there is something harmful so we have to carry masks or those kind of things okay so the purpose of canary is it lets you know that there is something wrong so that instead of sending all the people inside and get affected maybe one or two people with canary can go find out and everything is good then you send all the remaining people okay so that's the same concept in deployment so now what happens if your application has certain amount of replicas if you talk about blue green method problem is you are switching the entire traffic okay once again i am not worried about how the containers are created but if your application doesn't want to switch all the traffic to the new version of the application whereas you want to give it only to a subset of users or you want only a percentage of the traffic coming from the users go to the new version of your application so this way if there is a problem only a limited amount of users will be affected not everyone okay so such a way is what we call it as canary so canary means a fixed set of users or a subset so don't do the deployment for everyone like in the blue green whoever is accessing the actual service everyone will get the deployment right which is whether blue or green whatever that you have done whereas in this method we are not going to switch it to every customer we can decide only a particular customer or a subset of users are going to receive and this will help us to do some testing and also understand how the application is behaving and only then if it is working i can keep increasing the traffic so for example let's say i have some replicas let's say i have uh, four replicas now i don't want to change everything and then test so i want to first release only 25% of the traffic then we will see how it is working then we will release 50% of the traffic and then we will see how the new version of the application is working then 75 and then i will change to 100 which is what we call it as progressive okay now this is where in canary when you are deploying that is replacing your old version with new version you take a percentage and based on that you kind of send the traffic okay but once again the difference here is along with your existing replicas your new replicas will also be running which means now in a canary deployment so let's understand i have three replicas now i decide 30% so what is 30% of 3 probably one replica so now i have one old build now i want to replace it with new build at a time i will not replace with three replicas so first what is the percentage 30 so 30 means one pot 
so first i will create one new pod with the new image or the new build but understand the traffic will be flowing for all of them now this is where once this new is successfully up you will replace one of the old one because all together you want only three replicas but in this what happens you can now see you are still having three replicas but two old and one new replica so this is how in my case 30 percent of the traffic is sent to new and remaining is sent to old so that way if there is a problem it's easy for me to immediately roll back in the very beginning not at the end okay so like this you have to fix the strategy and keep deploying so suppose if i fix it as 30 percent then first 30 percent is one pod okay now if i'm saying okay release the next 30 percent so what is the next 30 percent another pod so now i have to replace one old pod with one new pod in which method it will release that is rolling update okay so one new will come and old will go so that's where your canary also works on top of rolling update so rolling update is how do you create but here the blue green in canary method you are controlling how the traffic should be sent to your application that is what we call it as actual deployment so once again now if you see while 60 percent of the load is going to the new version of your application still 30 percent goes to the old one and then finally you replace it 100 percent okay so this is how in canary you deploy in subset okay so you don't replace everything and at the same time when a customer is accessing your application they will be accessing the old version plus new versions okay both are going to happen getting the difference so again just to show you the diagram so you are going to replace one by one and the traffic will be sent okay so this is how anytime when you are replacing your old build with new build in a canary method you will fix a percentage and then for that you will be changing it okay so now comes the question on when to use and not to use so the advantage of canary is you can release your version only to a particular users where you can give a percentage and based on that you can deploy not every customer will be impacted and it's more convenient if you want to control the error rate and also to have a control on the performance because i have modified something for my new release but i don't know how the performance is actually there in the production so i cannot change everything with the new one and then wait for the performance instead slowly i will give few subset percentage and then we will see how it is behaving so that way instead of changing 100 percent we can change in certain percentage see the performance and then take the decision whether to move further or not just like a canary bird okay and it also helps you to do fast rollback right because if there is a problem in the performance of the application which i find in the first 30 percent it's only the 30 percent get impacted not my whole business so i can easily roll back okay now what's the disadvantage it's actually slow right so this is where if you are expecting zero downtime this is not going to happen because you are slowly changing with the percentage so that is where if your application requires a zero downtime then you cannot directly use canary then you just have to do some mix and match of few things and then the other big problem is how do you control the traffic because as i said i want only a particular user to access the new replicas now how do you control the traffic now this is where you have to start creating more services it's okay am i audible to everyone Yes, Adam. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Audible. Yes, Adam. Yes, you're audible. So here, the problem is, if you want to control saying, okay, only a particular user should access the 
new replica then how will you send the traffic because if you have a common service like blue green as i showed you you will also hit old version you will also hit the new version so that's where it's not like you cannot do if you try to manage in all these things in cloud then it is going to be more expensive for you okay so ideally this is also another method of deployment for production but again it depends on the nature of your business where if you do not want to release everything at one shot then go with canary simple in production you're going to talk only about two types blue green or canary blue green is when you want stateless and zero downtime and if you want a percentage of traffic to be released based on a user for performance or for agility then you're going to think of using canary in blue green disadvantages more resources is needed whereas in canary disadvantages traffic is going to be difficult to manage and it's going to be slow okay fine so with this let's try to take up another demo but again this time i'll take my first build as blue second build as red so from the existing blue how will you do a canary deployment and switch the traffic completely to red okay and watch the applications once again Okay, so there's nothing running now for this example so i have canary blue and canary red so first what we will do is i'll take the canary blue all right now what we will do let's put it as four replicas now it's the same deployment object i have taken with four replicas now i haven't mentioned any strategy so what is the method it will use rolling up but for me it's not about creating the pod it's completely about allowing the access okay and related to that if you come down okay you can see i'm using the blue image and watch this there is a service where i'm just using a label called canary okay and this is the same label I have also used for my pot so whenever we access the new service right now it is going to allow only blue so let's watch this cube turtle apply as an f canary blue so we have three one six one three okay okay so this is your first build which is currently running with how many replicas four so now in canary you need to now fix a percentage okay so for convenience let's take 25 percent again what we are going to do now is the manual way so let's understand how to do that and that's where tomorrow we will see how the same process should be automated because i cannot sit and do all those things manually right because you can see how much of time it is taking but anyway try to understand the logic so there are four replicas and i'm choosing 25 percent so at any time one replica should be replaced so what is my new deployment object so let's say red okay so along with your old blue i want to deploy red and this is where 25%. So first I have to create a new red based container and replace any one of them. So this is going to be a complete manual work. Okay. So watch this. So first what we will do, I have one more deployment object, which is called as red. 
and I have given this as one to start with and it is based on red and you see there is no service for that why because i want the same service wherein 25 percent traffic should go to this so that's where the label again you can see is canary so the service will now take the blue replicas plus this and this is where first let's go ahead and cube cuttle apply canary red so you should see now you have four plus one five okay but in the rolling update strategy what is that we have to do once the new one comes i should delete the old one okay so now once the new one has come now i am not doing any testing but this is what you have to actually do so let's quickly go to canary blue and i have to replace this with four with three and apply okay and then so what happened now if you see this two old blue and sorry three old blue and one red we're in 25 percent of the traffic right and now come to this application and refresh you should see it's 25 percent okay if you actually see the api is receiving one part of red and three parts of blue okay and that's what is the traffic 25 percent now once everything is fine this is where the canary method says okay you do progressively okay okay i tested everything and i feel it's fine now i can decide what should be the next step now it's not mandatory every time you should do 25 25 now i i feel okay let's put 50 percent now so then what is 50 percent two replicas so that means totally three replicas in red one replica in blue now in this first i should update the red only when the red replicas are up i should replace it with blue right so let's go to canary red and this is where your manifest files will be easy to use so i can just change three and let's apply red and now once they are successfully up so let's go ahead and edit the blue and here i'll change this to one okay and now let's apply this okay and once everything comes up you can see the old one terminating so all together you should have four replicas it's the same traffic what i wanted okay so you can see three red on one blue and now come back here you should see the traffic is now flowing reverse 75 percent to red 25 percent to blue okay so that's where as a customer you won't see any difference however you are controlling the deployment strategy and now when i feel everything is okay after my verification or my performance check then i can go ahead and change it to 100 percent so what is 100 percent typically i have to first increase the red to full so four okay and once this is up so you have all the four red okay and then you're going to remove this now simply what i'll do delete okay now this is where i want to delete the service because that file has both the things right so this is where what i'll do we'll just delete only the object so cube cuttle now again you have to automate but i'm just trying to show you everything manually so deploy and this deployment okay so now you have only four so now all the 100% traffic you can see it's switched to 
red and there is no blue so that's where customers are now going to access everything from your new version okay yeah hold on we'll take it up at the end so let me just show you another example this is where i said now which color you want <laughs> you have green and you have orange which color you want <laughs> orange green okay let's take orange so what i'll do i'll okay i think we already had orange here okay so now here in this what do i have so the same where i'm referring to a new deployment object with orange based image tag and it's still referring to the same label and now we have one so this time here what should we do so kubectl apply hyphen f canary orange okay now this is up so now i should go to the red one and reduce one again considering 25 percent okay what is 25 percent 25 percent is one one oh sorry yeah cube cuttle apply F. okay so you have three reds and one orange go back and yeah <laughs> you're not gonna see huge difference but yes 25 percent traffic red and blue and then now if i keep the same 25 percent then what should i do so once again canary orange i should change here to if i'm still saying 25 percent so right now it is 50 percent so cube cuttle apply okay so now you should see two orange and then i should go ahead and reduce this to two and this way you have 50 50 percent okay so you should see two orange and so not this this and this two red okay and now if you refresh traffic is 50 50 percentage okay and slowly now you decide how you want suppose if i want i can do the same thing for another 25 percent or i don't want to take time so let me say 100 percent then you have to replace this with or okay so so now you're going to have all the 100 percent traffic here but still we have one pod which is still there for red but yeah once it is up then you need to change the red one here in fact i can change this to zero but i can't make it zero and this is where i'll change this to one so let's just say cube cuttle delete f and f all right so now all you should have is your 100 percent orange so the traffic is completely to this okay so this is also called as progressive deployment because you are doing percentage by percentage got it so this is how now if you are moving ahead you need to understand what is the type of application that you are using okay and for that what kind of strategy and what is the advantage and disadvantage so there is no hard-coded rule saying everyone should use blue green or everyone should use canary but especially when you are attending interviews try to answer depending on an application so it comes depending on the need and next as i was telling 
what we have seen is only the manual way right now let's say one of the most preferable deployment as of now in the market is canary now if i give you 25 replicas and if i'm asking you to do are you going to sit and do this kind of deployment and the same way here we didn't create a second service but how is that i can have a control and access only the old replicas and new replicas so which is again going to be a problem all right and that's when the next step of whatever we have learned today is more about automating this which is what again we call it as rollout so how are you going to automatically roll out your deployments using whatever the strategy that you're applying wherein with minimal effort you should be able to do and if possible this is what you're going to attach it to your ci cd because after your build is created in a cd you're not just going to take your manifest file and do a kubectl apply in a machine right because that is just for recreate and rolling update but for blue green and canary there is some management that we have to do on top of it for which you need a automation in place so remember in production it's not just going to be like one kubernetes cluster and your jenkins will go and deploy and that's where i said earlier gitops is essential but for gitops once again you need to also have one more deployment which is where we'll talk about a new tool called argo rollouts okay anyway i'm going to talk about this in the next session so let me stop it for now thank you